Hey guys, Tim Walden, and welcome to Walden's. On behalf of my wife, Beverly, and I, we are honored that you're taking this time to check us out and to learn a little bit about us. You know, photography to me is a passion. It's something that uh, I've always loved and has been dear to my heart. At 12 years old, I uh, remember going in the dark room with my father and uh, watching him print and smelling the chemicals, and <laughs> maybe that's part of my problem. Um, but um, just seeing the joy and uh, the passion that he had as a photographer and as a printmaker. And the thing about my father, you should know, it kind of helps understand this journey that has brought us to this point, was that when I was five years old, we were throwing darts together. He slipped the disc and it slipped inward instead of outward. They didn't catch it in time, and uh, he ended up paralyzed from his armpits down. The one year in the hospital, 17 surgeries, just an amazingly um, um, uh, powerful story, but he, uh, he overcame what was an extremely difficult situation. And then when he, when he got to the point where he was able to get in a wheelchair, get out of the bed, get in a wheelchair, the first thing he wanted to do was get back in photography. And so at 12 years old, uh, he, had, he had built Walden's photography out of his home. You know, uh, he'd actually worked for the government. And he did that for a while as a, as a chief photographer at the Lexington Bluegrass Army Depot. But then he, um, he started Walden's photography and he was doing portraits. And he was doing it in the downstairs of his home on the north end of Lexington. And uh, I remember what drove me to photography, I tell people, was not his talent. He was quite gifted. I got to tell you, he, he, he lectured across the country, did over a thousand weddings from a wheelchair, earned a master's degree uh, from, from his wheelchair. But that's not what attracted a 12-year-old boy. What attracted me was how in the world can you have the challenges that you have, but yet love something this much? So I wanted to investigate. I wanted to learn uh, what, what is this that he loves so much as photography. So 12 years old, we went in the dark room and I learned printmaking. That's really where it started for me was in making fine art black and white prints. And I, and I kind of caught that same bug. I started to see what it was that made him so passionate about photography. And I remember he used to tell me, he used to say things like, uh, uh, son, you can come to me with anything you want, but don't come with an excuse. And, and so he was a tough uh, mentor, a tough taskmaster, but I wouldn't, ta I wouldn't have it any other way today. And so that bug bit me and the, the bug of photography, portrait photography. He was a commercial photographer, but when he became paralyzed, he had to switch to portrait photography because he couldn't physically get to the places and do the things that were required of a commercial photographer. And then later he said it was one of the greatest moves and changes of his life because he just loved people so much, as do Beverly and myself. So that's kind of what got me here. But I was a, 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 a I kind of grew up a printmaker, uh, and fine art black and white was my passion. And so when I got into the photography business, uh, I, you know, as a teenager working for him, I met my uh, I met my love of my life, Beverly, and we married very young. Uh, 19 years old when, when we married. And she was an artist, uh, trained at the University of Kentucky, an art student, loved art. And for those of you who know her know how, how accurate that is. Very creative, probably the most creative person I've ever known. And she took what my father had established, that, that pr my father had established that principle of excellence. No, don't cut any corners, beautiful lighting, uh, uh, printmaking, uh, exceptional. Uh, exposure, all the technical things were in place, but Beverly brought the creative edge. She kept saying, well, why not? Well, why can't we do it this way? Why can't we do it that way? And so I think it was with her artistic side and my father's technical excellence that married into who I am today. And, uh, and so Bev and I are on this journey together of uh, uh, Walden's photography decades uh, after this. Now, uh, I will tell you that my, the only thing my father wasn't uh, exceptional at was the business and marketing side because he was paralyzed while he was with the government. So he had that, uh, he had an income. He always had that uh, financial stability. So he started Walden's Photography as therapy. It was really built as therapy. It wasn't built to make money. When I took over and didn't have that income, I started realizing we were doing all kinds of things wrong. We were a little bit of everything to everybody. And I started realizing that great artists 
are known for very specific things. And I thought to myself, what in the world am I passionate about? What makes my heart beat faster? And we started over two decades ago what has become known worldwide as relationship photography. It's fine art black and white photography, uh, printed, hand printed for uh, longevity to be passed down from generation to generation, legacy piece, uh, built on emotion, telling stories and celebrating the personalities uh, people and then presenting it in a museum fashion. And that turned our business around, a failing business, uh, 20 plus years ago to a highly successful business today. And, uh, and so that has brought us here to this wonderful place to where we're doing fine art black and white. And then we expanded only to the areas that kind of lined up with that Walden brand of excellence. Color studies, which are um, uh, beautiful color pieces, uh, much different than our black and white. They, uh, they're that glimpse in that mirror, that kind of that last look before you go out, all the outfit, makeup, hair, everything perfect. They're, um, they're investment worthy pieces that have, uh, have that, that look uh, that you want when you're looking your best. And then Beverly has uh, introduced uh, about a decade ago what we call Beauvisage, which means beautiful face. And that is her paintings. And she has brought her artistic talent married it with photography to create a mixed media painting called Beauvisage. So that is how Walden's got to where we are today. We are living the dream and uh, we appreciate you taking the time to learn a little bit more about us. Thank you so much.